Hey, my dear friends, Shabbat Shalom, Moadim Lesimcha, a good kvitl for Hashanah Rabba, and a very good yomtiv for Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. Before I share with you my words, I want to share with you that today, Hoshana Rabba is the yard site of my future son-in-law's father, Menachem Mendel, Ben Kalman, and Shana. And, you know, there's two schools of thoughts. One is always saying, you don't marry the person, you marry the family. And the other one says, no, we're marrying the person. And, uh, you know, you don't judge him by his family. I just want to share with you how fortunate my daughter Gittel is. She found an amazing boy and with it, an amazing family. I've met Ari's mother, Toby, may she live and be well. And I've heard so much about his father, a blessed memory. So Baruch Hashem, according to both schools of thoughts, my daughter is really blessed. You know, today, today is on one hand, it's the last day of judgment. And yet on the other hand, it's a day of Simcha. And I want to share with you, it's easy to have Simcha bleeding from love into love when things are good. But when things get difficult and when there's pain and every part of you screams, I need to come first now and then to be able to have joy and love for your wife and your children protect them as much as you can from your pain instead of putting it on them Hashanah Rabbi is Mendel's day and from everything I've heard he's lived this day in great honor and I'd like to dedicate the Dvar Torah in memory of Menachem Mendel Ben Kalman and Shana Brickman so I learned something amazing. Yom Kippur is the ultimate day of the giving of the Torah because when Moses came down the first time Mount Sinai, he broke the Luchot. And then on Yom Kippur is when he came back with the second pair of Luchot. And that's why it became the day of Teshuva. And in some teachings it says that when our sages say Yom Chatunato Zem Matan Torah, the day of our wedding with God is the day of Matan Torah, it's talking about Yom Kippur and not Shavuos. And that is the reason, simply speaking, why we do the cycle of the Torah reading, not focused around Shavuot, but we finish it right next to Yom Kippur, and then right after that, Shabbat Bereshit. However, I was learning with my Chavrusa something really amazing. You see, Yom Kippur is all about receiving the Torah and learning the Torah, while Simcha Torah is even higher than Yom Kippur because higher than learning Torah is to rejoice in God's Torah. The Simcha, that's the crown that goes above the Torah. And in brief, I want to share with you, whenever something empowers differences, that's man-made. So when we talk about one person being a greater scholar, having more connection to the day of studying Torah, another one less, if it's differences, it's not the ultimate God-given gift. You see, on Simcha's Torah, we keep the Torah closed and everyone dances with it. There's the rabbi, there's the Uber driver, there's the lawyer, there's the housewife, Everyone, yes, in the housewife, they dance with the Torah differently, of course. Um, they don't physically dance with the Torah, but they're the ones that adorn and make sure that Simchas Torah is the joy it has to be. And when you dance with the Torah and the Torah is closed and you're just dancing, that's the God-given gift because the rabbi is no closer to dancing with the Torah than the simple Jew who barely can read the words without the printed vowels. I want to even take it a step further, if I may. I've seen 
great rabbis danced with the Torah and you felt, I don't want to speak negatively, but almost like a smugness of, yeah, oh yeah, I'm happy with this Torah. Thanks to this Torah, people can see how brilliant I am. Thanks to this Torah, I have authority. Thanks to this Torah, I make a living. And then sometimes you see a simple Jew who really, who really, more than saying the words, doesn't really understand. But when he holds the Torah, it's not about my Torah, I. It's about this simple humility and joy that God chose him and gave him his most precious gift. And I will conclude with this. While it's the rabbi's job to teach every person on their level the knowledge of the Torah, it's actually the simple Jew, the God-fearing Jew's job to teach the rabbis that humility when you hold the Torah and the love and joy is about God and not about what the Torah is doing for us. So people, let's have a beautiful, beautiful, joyous occasion. And the only way to have joy is by getting ego out of the way. So let's close our eyes tonight and tomorrow night. Forget just a little bit about ourselves. Think a little bit more about the person in front of me, the person behind me, and how God loves us all equally. Chag Sameach.